Hi hi folks, Steve Mewson here, Education Coordinator of Reach Out in Aberdeen. As you'll see, I've had my um, seasonal summer haircut and beard trim after a glorious week of sunshine. And it turns out it's going to rain for seven days at least. So thank you, Scotland. Hope everybody's keeping well. I am in my art shed. I've got a mug of hot tea and I've got a pen, which means it's time for another art session. Now, today we're going to do a little bit of drawing with a twist. There's uh, two different approaches to this, which I'll explain briefly before we get started. Now, I've done this quite a lot in the past and I get mixed responses in terms of people feeling either really invigorated by it or under pressure. So, you'll know quickly if you enjoy taking your time with this or doing it really quickly and then you just alter your practice accordingly. What we're going to do is a bit of drawing but with a time limit attached to it. Now what this does is gets our cogs spinning really quickly and gets our creative juices flowing really quickly normally. That's the, the goal. Sometimes it puts people in a bit, of, a bit of a stressful kind of position and they lock up completely and nothing comes out. So if you feel, and that's absolutely fine, that's completely understandable, but if you feel that that's how it's going to affect you, pause the video um, it each relevant section and you take your time drawing or painting or whatever you're using to render your images and then once you're happy with what you've done start the video again and move on to the next section I'm gonna I've done this a lot uh, so I'm just gonna throw myself in fearlessly and go for it um, I would advise everybody to give that a go initially because it's it's fun and um, surprising sometimes the results you get for this little exercise but I will stress, if you do get that feelings of like pressure, oh no, no, time limits, just pause the video and uh, do it at your own pace. My wife has kindly made me... One, two, three, four, five, six little prompts. You see? And they're folded up and I have no idea what they are. And what we're going to do is unfold them one at a time, put a minute limit to draw and I'm just going to go for it and try and draw it and when the minute's up that's it the drawing is finished I put it aside and then we we'll open the next one and we'll go for there and I, so that's the goal of the session today so it's just like it's quick draw 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 um, no reference to it other than what it says I wouldn't be looking at uh, any images on Google or looking at a book or anything I'm just going to go by whatever is on this little piece of paper um, hope that makes sense to everybody um, if not stop the video right now get in contact with us and we can explain a bit further but as usual as we go as I draw I'll speak you through the kind of process a bit and uh, once I've done one of them it'll make sense what we're doing if this wasn't entirely clear to you okay everybody all you're gonna need for this is pencil humble biro whatever you like paintbrush whatever you choose to make some art with piece of paper some cardboard whatever you've got an envelope whatever you've got lying about in your house and a nice comfy peaceful space we're good to go Okay, folks, draw it heads on. Oh, yeah, folks, hopefully you've got a little drawing space, painting space, whatever you're using set up. I have borrowed a phone here to, if I can work it, yeah, here we go, to set our timer. I have our little prompt here, and I'm going to open this up, hit start, and it gives us one minute to draw. Easy as that. A good old lizard. Here we go, okay. A good old lizard. Now, if I'm drawing something, I think about its defining characteristics first. And for a lizard, I've got these funny lips. Usually I would put some sort of tongue. And then I'm going to give it a big long body. Here's its tail. Lizard needs two little legs. There we go. It's actually come up more like an anteater. I want it to look a bit more lizard-esque. So I'm going to give it like a big eye there. A big eye there. There we go. It still looks like a, an anteater. We'll give it some maybe lizardy kind of scales. Now, I love drawing hexagon sort of shapes and linking them together, but we're very low on time, so this is the best we're going to get scale wise. You might have a totally different version of a lizard. Do lizards have ears? I'm just thinking. This one does. Look at that. A little claws in his feet. Scaly tail. And that's an alarm. So that was one minute and that flew in and I have drawn a lizard. And I'll have anyone say otherwise. 
good old lizard. There we go. So I'll be very keen to see what you guys have come out with. Hopefully something maybe approximating a lizard more, or maybe that is exactly how you picture a lizard. That's how I see them anyway. If I was going to paint it, I would do it bright green and instantly it'd be more lizard-esque, which is a great word. Now, you've got the idea. If that was no long enough for you to draw, pause the video after the next one's unveiled and just take your time. But I'm just going to keep on going. Right, I'll get our timer up again. We have one minute and counting. I'm going to open this up. A cat-dog hybrid. Right, this is my familiar territory. Anybody that's ever made art with me knows how often I draw cats. And also probably how little I draw dogs. So instantly I'm thinking, how do I turn this cat into a dog? Like, what's the big difference? I mean, dogs have got maybe more of a snout, do they? Yeah, cats have got a traditionally really flat face. I'm going to give it a big cat eyes. So that's one of my favourite characteristics of a cat. There's a dog and we're going to give it doggy teeth. <laughs> that will do its eyes like that. Its ears going a bit funny. Make its tail a bit bushier. Now, look at that. What Cat-dog hybrid, what would that sound like? And that's a time up well. As I was uh, drawing that, I was thinking, what would it sound like? And I was thinking, how would you combine a woof and a purr? What would that be? A whirr? Whirr. Whirr. There we go. Cat-dog hybrid, just like that. Now, what's next? I'm in a flow now. I'm ready for action. Start. Let's see what we've got here. Oh my, a party toucan. Right. What even is a toucan? Toucan have got that big majestic beaks, haven't they? The stripey sort of colours on it. Well, we've no colour because I have maybe sadly opted for a black and white biro. But our toucan is still sprung to life, just like that. There we go. Now... How do we make it a party toucan? I think we're going to give it a hat for a start. There we go. It's just hit its 16th birthday. A fine vintage for a toucan. And it's going to be holding a... Now it's near flashlight. Flashlight. It's a tutoroo. Just to mark up clear. And here's some party poppers. It's just been fired over its head. There we go. Party toucan. <laughs> Right, are we ready? A new species of bird. Ah, topical after a party toucan. Maybe the party toucan is a new species of bird. Right, okay. Now, I'm a big fan of falcons. That's probably my favourite bird. And I have, funnily enough, a go-to falcon shape. Look at this. Now, what's going to make this a new species? I'll tell you what. Because it's got three eyes. And it's got landing wheels. Look at that. And what I'll maybe have in the back of it. Is some road markings. Because it also doubles as an emergency bridge. In times of natural disaster. There we go. So it's, this is the... Land Bridge Falcon. And I've done that with time to spare. Look at that. Now. Let's see what's next. And I'm very keen to see what uh, species of bird you cooked up. There we go. Right, we're ready. We're doing a jazzy warthog. So, warthogs have got that really... Great sort of squat shape, don't they? And they've got a kind of sort of like a snout, I think. 
And I think one of their defining characteristics is these horn things. They've got tusks, you would say, wouldn't you? Now, I'll give it some teeth. There we go. Now, they've got little eyes, and I think they've got a cropper sort of bushy hair coming around them. We'll give it some nostrils. Now, if it would make it jazzy, how about we have it playing, I was going to say, have it playing a tuba, but how do I draw a tuba in 20 seconds? So instead it's going to get a, a wee trumpet coming out its moo. There we go. Playing. Nice bit of free jazz. And I just realised I forgot how to draw a music note. But there we go, we get the idea. One jazzy warthog. Now, does anybody listen to jazz? Jazz is something that sort of bypassed me. I like a really loud guitar generally. But uh, I have a lot of friends who are big fans of jazz and some even play it on the old piano. Now, I've ripped this excitement. A sloth warrior, and ironically, the sloth, the slowest, uh, one of the slowest uh, creatures on the planet, is about to be rendered really, really quickly. Now, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I have completely, in the final drawing, forgot what a sloth looks like. And I've drawn this nightmarish thing, a blob. Right, well, it's a warrior, so I'm going to at least give it a, a dagger. I'll give it two daggers, because that's a terrible-looking dagger. There we go. Oh, no, how do I make this more sloth-like in ten minutes? They've got a bit of a brow, don't they? There we go. <laughs> right, that's our last one done. So I'm going to dismiss the timer and just take a second to appreciate this uh, warrior sloth. <laughs> oh, man, looking forward to showing this to everybody I know so they can have a, a chuckle. It's more like a kind of ghost turnip carrying double daggers. <laughs> it's probably the best way I can describe it. Nah. As you can see, that wasn't what the prompt was uh, asking for, but that's what they've got. The ghost turnip, as we'd say in my neck of the woods, a ghost neep. There we go. The ghost neep. And look, that's something special, I think, that's come out of this creativity session. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, really keen as ever to see on the decorations that you come up with. And let us know what you think of that. A minute is not long to draw some in, and you just have to get on it. Um, some have came out better than others, but what a fun activity might be for yourselves is after you've rendered these like quickly, sit back, do and take your time, and actually do the best lizard that you've ever drawn or painted, and properly think about a cat dog hybrid, what that would look like or sound like. Warr, warr. Good old party toucan. Maybe take a time to do the jazzy warthog. We're an actual tuba. The tuba in itself is something I've never ever drawn and um, I might actually do something with that in a future session. So, hope everybody's keeping well. I hope you enjoyed that and it's got your brain firing. Keep the art flowing. Keep keep going today if you, if you enjoyed that. Um, be creative as ever and look after yourselves. Take care.